All right, guys. I haven't made a video in a while. I believe since I first purchased the car. This is my 2022 Tesla Model 3 Performance. I now have over 20,000 miles on the car. I brought the car and I picked it up January 23rd. No, I picked it up this February 23rd. I ordered it January the 11th and I got it about six weeks later. I picked it up at Cherry Hill Tesla. So what's my experience since I've owned the car for 20,000 miles and about February, March, April, May, June, about five months. Honestly, I think the car is great. Considering uh, I was actually looking at an M3, the car has been great. One thing I'll say is uh, my wife and I drive the car. There's a few. So next, the wheels. The 20,000 miles. Does this one have one? Yeah, it's one right there. So it looks like we've managed to match the neck in each wheel. Um, only thing I've done to it aesthetically is just get the windows tinted. So, as you can see, I got the performance package with the carbon fiber wing. The upgraded wheels. The updated headlights. Everyone seems to be up in the war about these headlights. Apparently, Tesla's not putting it on a, some of the new Model 3s for 2022. But I don't believe it affects the performance model. So, I'm at 20,543 miles. So, I average about a little over 5,000 miles a month, I guess. And I would say that it costs, I charge 90% at home. So, I would say I probably spend about $150 to $160 a month charging. I live in Delaware, so... It's relatively cheap. Um, I do use the superchargers, but very rarely. Um, I drive about 195 miles a day. So, um, I guess another question would be, do I charge to 100% every day? And before I wasn't, but now I do. Uh, every so often I get a, war a warning about, you know, to bring the charging levels down. But we use 90% of the battery every day. How will that have an effect long term? I don't know. Um, I know people will debate that. Uh, I brought the car to use it. So I plan, I intend on using it. This is my first electric car. Um, it has a great warranty on it. Um, how will you know exactly uh, what the car is capable of if you don't put it to the test? So. At first, I was charging to 80% or 85%, and then sometimes 90%, and I was a little scared to go over 90%, but I said, you know what? This is my car. I'm going to use it how I see fit, what works best for me, and I don't want to keep stopping at charges on my way home. So I charge 100% every day, and I'm sure people will have something to say, but it works for me. So, but besides that, the car is awesome. 
absolutely no maintenance. I rotated the tires about every 5,000 miles. Um, I believe it recommends rotating the tires every 10,000. So I have pretty much even wear on the tires. Um, I can tell you it's great to have a car and not have to worry about an oil change or belts or coolant change or um, all the other maintenance that comes with ICE vehicles. I, I can't even imagine what it would cost to put 20,000 miles on a ICE vehicle with the gas prices the way they are. Now, would I buy another Tesla? I definitely would. Do I miss the sound? Uh, I had an, um, a 2013 M5 uh, F10. It was a stage two full bolt on. And um, do I miss that? Definitely. It was a six speed manual. Do I miss the gas? Absolutely not. So you give me, you take. Um, I don't know. So right now, uh, this is this is where we're at. This is seems like everyone in there and their mother wants an electric vehicle now, and the prices with the Fords and the, the Lightning and the Mustangs and the Kias and everybody's just every dealership is just overcharging. It's just unbelievable. So I love the fact that Tesla just puts a price out there and. This is what you're paying, or you're either not paying it, and then you just go on with it. You either decide you're going to buy it or not. Uh, fortunately for me, I brought my, I agreed to my purchase in January of 2022, so it was before the price increased. I believe uh, my car came to 62.4, and I believe they're now about 64,000. Um, I haven't really been keeping up with the prices after that, but. I love the car, guys, and I definitely recommend if you're going to get one, get a, uh, a Model 3 Performance. So I'll give you one more shot of the outside, and that's it.